What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. If you're here for the first time, I have to say what's up. My name is Frances. I'm so happy that you guys are watching this video today. So today's video guys coming at you, it is going to be my first impression on a Jeffree Star product for the very first time. So before we jump into this video guys and I give you a little bit more information as to why I said it's my first Jeffree Star makeup product. I'm gonna get to that in a minute, <laughs> but before we do, before we jump into this uh, video, which is going to be reviewing his new brand new palette with Morphe and all that, kind of give you um, my thoughts on it and show you how I achieve this look all right here. I created this look using all the shades from the palette. Hey guys, so before we get into the video, I'm gonna ask to please consider hitting subscribe, turning on your notification bell, so you can be part of my beautiful girlfriend squad here on YouTube. And also follow me on Instagram. It's francis 2 smichelle That's where you will find me. So guys, let's go ahead and jump to this video. Give you guys a review. Give you guys my thoughts on everything. Let's get started. Okay, guys. So as you all know, if you're a beauty junkie like me and you follow Trend Mood, oh, Trend Mood. Instagram is definitely going to make me go broke. All these new releases coming out is just hurting my bank account. <laughs> Anyways, guys, so Murphy came out with another collaboration and with Jeffree Star. I, me personally, I've never owned a Jeffree Star product in ever. <laughs> I've never bought anything from Jeffree Star. Um, the reason why... I'll reserve it because it feels. I feel like it's it's my decision. I don't need to put it out there. So I just never own any product with him. Um, but something about this palette just sort of like called out my attention. I was like, you know what? Let me do it. Let me do it for a couple of reasons. One reason is because like, again, I've never owned a Jeffree Star product. I want to see if it's really as good as you claim as him. As Jeffree Star claims that his makeup products are, he's always trashing either Kylie, trashing other um you other makeup artists that have come out with their own line, or trashing others' collaboration. Um, saying oh it's crap, it's not worth it. So I was like, let me really try and see if the makeup products that you create are like, whoa. And I was like, you know what? And then the second reason is I want to see. If it's true what uh, people said that Murphy, when they collab with other people, like their products are very inconsistent to quality wise. Because I do tell you, I've owned a couple of Murphy brush, uh, Murphy brushes palettes, and all their shades are pretty good, guys. Like I don't have any complaints whatsoever. But when it comes to like collaboration, like. Um, I've had, I did both, I bought both of the, um, Jaclyn Hill and Morphe collaboration, the first palette and then the other, other four individual palettes. And there was no consistency whatsoever between the shades, between the palettes and all that. So I was like, okay, I'm not going to buy it anymore. I'm not going to do anything that has to do with collaborations anymore. But then this palette came to our existence this palette came to our life and not only is it a huge palette and because of the colors as well so that is the reason I really want to see if um it's something that is very consistent is something that he's doing good so this is what the palette looks like guys it is a huge palette super huge I love the pink and the um and the iridescent Morphe, Morphe and Jeffree Star. Love that it's a huge, huge palette, guys. In the back, it says, um, he has like a little message to his fans. It says, hi, how are you, and whatnot. Like every other collection they do, they have like the picture of the collaborator with a little message to the subscribers. All right, guys, so when you open her, you already know what she looks like because she's been all over on um, Instagram. But look how beautiful, guys. We have... It's a more cool tone palette. Even though you have one, two, three, four, maybe five, six, seven, maybe seven neutral shades, it still for me screams cool palette. It has all the pink shades, it has all the blue, it has all the greens, gold. 
it has a beautiful range of colorful um, shadows. I do not own a single palette that has this mixture of colors. So that is another reason why I bought it because it has some nice pinks. It has some nice greens, some lines. Then the silver, the glittery shade is super nice. And then we have all the shimmers and whatnot. We also have um, a few uh, matte, a few dark warm tone shades we have a black we have a gray we have this burnt orange we have a burgundy here um we have these up here which are like like orangey we have peachy shades it has a nice range of colors guys now the plus to this palette look at this huge mirrors y'all look at this mirror look at how huge like I was doing my makeup and I'm, I can see my whole entire face with this palette, y'all. It's not like a little tiny palette and I just see like like this part of my eyes. I can see my whole face. Like if I'm doing my makeup, I can go in and do my makeup with this palette alone. So that is a big plus, the fact that it's a huge palette. It's super sturdy. Um, it is very sturdy. It's very it's more sturdy than my um Anastasia, than my Jaclyn Hill one. The Jaclyn Hill was a little fluffy. The fact that it was white, it kind of got dirty really really easy. This one has like a nice feel to it. Um, the hot pink in the back, the light pink. It is very very pretty. The palette it is very beautiful itself in the outside as the inside, and I just think it's super super nice. So I'm gonna do a couple of swatches on my arm guys just to kind of give you uh, like an overall of the palette and see if all the shades in here are consistent. How many shades are in here? This is called the Jeffree Star Art Artistry Palette. We have 30. There is 30 little shades in here for $35. You cannot beat that guys, literally. All right guys, so I'm gonna just go ahead and fast forward you guys to uh, swatches from the palette, give you my thoughts on how the colors are then we're gonna go ahead and jump into a little tutorial on how I got this makeup look and then we're gonna wrap it up all right guys so as you guys can see I already have my eyes um, prepped all I did was concealer set it with powder so let's go ahead and dive in um, this palette so as y'all saw I absolutely love this mirror guys like I'm obsessed with the mirror all right so let's go ahead and start um try to make this video really quick just because swatches and all that takes a while so I think I'm gonna start with um I'm gonna do the color my oh I see what you do yep I'm gonna start with my right here is a very light pink and I'm just going to put that all the way up here it's gonna be like my transition shade but because my eyes are really like they're not hooded lids lid hooded eyes but this bone right here stands out really really bad like that's the one that stands out the most I'm going to start on that bone actually it is a very light shade and to be a very light shade it is very nice pigmented okay so this is the weirdest thing unless I had some on my on my brush but here looks darker than the other side no my brush was clean like it started off really dark and I was like really light you can even barely see it on camera I'm gonna go ahead and bring this shade which is back Remember, I wouldn't do something like this, like apply the same colors over and over again. It's just that we need to test out as many colors as possible. So that is the reason why. Normally, I do two or three shades on my eyes. But because we're testing out, I want to do as much as I can on one color. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to grab that bright pink there, calling my name. It's called Self Made. That's a beautiful name. That's a little bit of more fallout than I would expect. But whatever. We'll work with it. And I'm going to pack that right here on my crease. 
a little bit upwards just because of the type of my the way my eyes are super very nice pigmentation like it's super pigmented guys what i'm looking for in this palette is consistency throughout the whole palette normally morphe's um palettes when they do collaborations for some reason for me there's no consistency when it comes to the colors i'm gonna go ahead and take the color two Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and take the color my first, and then I'm gonna use two. So my is, my is, my is gonna be sort of like my base. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and take the color my, which is a beautiful, like, shimmery pink shade. Okay, so this is not as this one is not as pigmented as the other ones have been. I really really have to get in there. Maybe with my finger. With my finger you can see it. Beautiful pink shade. Just wish it was a little bit more pink than white. All right guys, so I just go ahead. All right guys, so I went ahead and fast forward to completing my eye. All I did was do a very thick wing line and apply lashes. And um, I just kept it, like I said, I just kept it um, like that glittery pink on the on the top, and on the, on the lid, and then the hot pink on my crease. Um, while I was off camera that I was doing my liner, I kept going back and forth between the glittery shade and the hot pink just to kind of make sure that everything was well um, blended, everything looks good there. Um, honestly speaking, as of right now, the colors that I use on the top, they're very, very pigmented. That pink pops amazingly. It's so, so, so rich and it blends very, very easily. I actually kind of had a little hard time using that pink glittery shade. For me, it wasn't like sticking to my lid as I I would have loved like the other shadows that one was just a little tricky it is pigmented but I feel like um, it could be a little bit better and finish the rest of my face I'm just gonna come in and just apply foundation um, do the whole thing and then we're going to go ahead and wrap up this makeup look slash review of the um, Jeffree Star Murphy palette and I'll just give you my overall opinion of the palette because I'm going to be using other shades on my eyes as well. So let's just go ahead and fast forward to time to my face being completely done. Alright guys, so this is what the look is. This is what I came up with, guys. I feel like a strawberry. <laughs> I barely do any shades like this. I barely do any like over-the-top shades like pink and green and blah, blah, blah. I really wanted to come out of my comfort zone and play with something different for you guys. And as far as the colors that I tried, I actually did like them. Um, just that glittery pink, I would have thought it would be a little bit easier to transfer from either my brush or my finger onto my lid. But other than that, all the other shades looked very beautiful. They're very pigmented. The only downside to it is very chalky like it has a lot of fallout a lot of fallout like I pack on my brush and I have to dab and the amount of excess that comes out of the brush is a lot um it's not a bad thing it's not a deal breaker a deal breaker for me would be like the pigmentation in it um some colors were a little bit more um intensive some colors were a little bit more like pigmented than the other so we kind of still have that little inconsistency there from one shadow to the other but um other than that the colors are beautiful the palette has 30 30 good size uh shadow um and the colors are beautiful if you're like like you'd like to do different color shades and this palette would be great for you but if you're more like into a warm tone like you're you're more of like browns and neutrals then i think this palette would not be like suitable for you but overall guys it's a great palette honestly um for the price range it's awesome the mirror is great i just wish it had a little bit more warm tone color so i can so it could be like my 
go to palette for now because I feel like when you go traveling you can take this with you because of the huge mirror and then you have like all the shades you want to do a makeup with but I feel like if they would have done like more a block of more like color like warm tones it would have probably been like my go-to palette for now but I feel like this is just going to be for me when I'm trying to be creative and trying to step out of my comfort zone I think I'll reach out for this palette but yeah guys this is a, overall is a pretty nice palette um, again if you're into more cool tones more dramatic more like um very bright intense colors then this would be a great palette for you if you're more into neutrals then honestly I don't see this being your go-to palette but yeah guys i really hope you like this um review demo everything in between and if you did guys don't forget to give this video a thumbs up when you give a video a thumbs up it lets me know that you like the video that you like it and that you want to see more of this type of videos and before you go guys if you have not yet hit that subscribe button make sure you subscribe to my channel right now 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 and then you follow me on instagram so we can be friends let me know in the comment section below if you're gonna pick up the palette if you picked it up your thoughts on it or if you've ever picked up any jeffree star product and you've liked it thank you guys so much for your love thank you for sticking to the end thank you so much for watching muchas besos i'll see you ladies on my following video adios